Hey everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to assemble your Pico Pi Maker Kit so that you can get started building IoT devices for Android Things. The easiest way to get started is with a Maker Kit. In this video, we'll be using the Pico Pro Maker Kit because it contains everything we could need to get started building for Android Things. We'll use our IMX7 board, a USB-C power cable, a Wi-Fi antenna, a camera peripheral, a touch screen, and the rainbow hat add-on board. The rainbow hat is great because it contains a bevy of sensors that we can use to play with peripheral I.O. To install the rainbow hat, we're also going to need some standoffs and screws to attach them to the board. If you're lucky, your kit might just include some bonus stickers. Now we'll walk through how to assemble our kit. We'll start by attaching the antenna cable to the antenna. Now we'll attach the antenna cable to the board. We'll connect the small gold circular end of the antenna cable to the small circular connection on the board. Now you'll need to use a bit of force, so feel free to press down hard. Now we'll attach the screen's power connector. We'll take the cord and connect one end into the white connection on the ribbon cable from the screen. We'll now attach the screen to our development board. To start, we'll attach the ribbon cable to the white connection on the back of the board. Now we need to make sure to lift up on the black latch mechanism so that the ribbon cable slides in easily. Next, we'll attach the screen's power cord to the small white connector on the back of the board. To attach the camera, Locate the medium-sized latch connector on the back of the board. Again, we'll lift up on the black latch mechanism so that the camera's cable can slide easily into place. We'll attach the ribbon cable from the camera to the connector on the back of the board like we did with the screen. Once it slides in, push back down on the black mechanism to secure the cable. Before we can install the rainbow hat, we need to install some standoffs so that the hat won't touch other elements of the board while it's connected. Once the standoffs are in place, it's time to connect the rainbow hat. Now you'll notice the 40 pin connector on the back of the rainbow hat. We'll attach that to the 40 pin mail connection on our development board.
Once the rainbow hat has been attached and we're sure that it's not touching other elements of the board, we can attach screws to the standoffs to secure the board. Now it's time to power on our board. Attach the USB-C cable to your computer, then insert into the board. The rainbow hat and screen should then power on. Awesome, our hardware is now ready to install Android things. Way to go.